welcome to the Student Hub Live. I'm Karen Foley and I'm going to be hosting the next two hours of our first of our series of four study skills boot camps. So we thought this would be a good idea because uh, a lot of you are hopefully very keen and enthusiastic about your module start and about lunch, so I hear. Um, and uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to uh, meet up every Monday and go through some of the skills that we think are important for studying. Now, just because we think those are important doesn't mean they necessarily are. We want to hear your ideas, your questions, anything you'd like us to cover in these four sessions, do let us know and you can do that in a variety of ways that I'll tell you about shortly. So, the next two hours it is lunchtime and I know that some people might be at work but you can drop in and out of these sessions as you want to. It is available on the catch up so if you've missed something or you'd like to watch it again later you can do so. The best way to engage with these is through the watch and engage feature. So some of you might be in the live stream. I mean, these are events that are open to anybody. Um, so if you're a student, you just sign into the Watch and Engage with your um, Open University computer username. And then you can see all the chat and the widgets that we'll be going through and you can tell us what you think, etc. And if you aren't, you can request a visitor account and then you can see all of that also. So that is an option to look at. So in addition to the chat, we also have a Twitter feed that we're going to be monitoring in the studio and that hashtag is studenthublive16 um, and you can email us at studenthub or studenthub, sorry, studenthub at open.ac.uk and the uh, Twitter handle is at studenthub. Right, I would like to introduce our hot desk because uh, HJ, hello, how are hey, you? I'm good, thank you. Good. I'm really excited. How's it all going? You've been chatting away to I people. I know, it's going so well. We've got loads of people in the chat room today, so we're here to for all their thoughts, comments and questions to put to you guys. And yeah, everyone's just introducing themselves, saying what modules they're doing. Uh, we've got people from all over the place as well. So uh, Margaret uh, was just saying earlier, she loves it when the parcels arrive with everything in. That's always a lovely moment. I'm talking of introducing, who's this sir uh, with you today? <laughs> oh, it's Sophie with me today. Hello, Hi, Sophie. Hi, Karen. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. Yes, good, happy to be here. Yes. Um, I, what happened to Annie then? Uh, I think she was fed up with the mess on the desk, but I didn't think it was that bad. But, you know, human resources disagree. <laughs> Excellent. Well, welcome, Sophie. So can you tell people who are new, what are you two going to be doing on the social media desk and uh, what can they expect from you with that lovely board you've got back there? Yes. <laughs> so we've got all sorts going on. So obviously we will be on the chat. So hopefully get to as many people as possible. It's so busy on there at the moment. Um, but yeah, if people could send in some selfies, if we can have some pictures of people's lunch. Yeah, we want to know like where you're studying from, what the view is from where you are. So how, how, you want pick people to send in pictures yes. to, I guess, our email? Yes, so email us, studenthub at open.ac.uk. We've got a Twitter account, at studenthublive. All the details are on our lovely board behind us. We've got a little selfie up here from last time when Helen joined me on the social media desk. But uh, we want to fill this board with all your stuff because we want to know what's going on where you are and what it looks like from your... Because you can see us. We want to see what's going on with you too. But if you've got like study tips as well, we love yeah. those, don't we? We want to know those. If you've got advice for other students starting or something you wish you knew when you started off, we'd love to know. So we're just, we want to hear from you. Whatever way, just let us know. We want to hear from you. And especially about what people are having for lunch. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, I hear Peter's having, uh, Peter's having smoked mackerel and rice, which I think is, is a very, very healthy option. Well done, Peter. Uh, others not so healthy. Speaking of which, I'm ravenous right now. OK, so what we're going to do is you send your pictures and selfies. It'll be interesting to see how those get put up on the social media board. So do let us know either what you're eating or send us a picture of you to say hello um, or send us your study space. So either of those three options, studenthub at open.ac.uk. Right. Our programme today, we've got a lot lined up. What we're going to be doing is first we're going to have Georgina Blakely and we're going to be talking about navigating the VLE, which is the virtual learning environment. So some of you may have already accessed this. This is the most important place for your modules and she's going to tell us all about how to do that and she's going to show us some options. We then have Helen Clough from the library and we're going to look at managing your digital presence. Um, so this is going to be about using social networking sites to interact with your fellow students and also she's got some really good tips about keeping up to date with your studies. 
We then have Suzanne Schwesner, who's coming in uh, talking about time management, a very important skill for students. Um, so she's got lots of different strategies and advice um, that she will go through with us for that. Then we have Sharon Davis, who's going to talk about task planning and what to do first. So after you've familiarised yourself with the wonderful virtual learning environment and had a look at the various tools that you can use to access that and how you might do that, we'll then look at how you can get started with your studies. But as we say, do let us know any questions that we're going in along the way. Now, the one thing I will tell you is that the chat can move fast. So if you are in the Watch and Engage and you're seeing that and it is going a little bit quickly, there's a pin at the top uh, of the um, chat and you can pin that and you can scroll down to see what other people are saying. You can also change your screen layout. So there are three different options for that and you can click on the bottom of the right hand side, I believe, of the panel. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Sophie and HJ. And then you can change the interface and see um, exactly uh, what view you would find best, whether that's more chat or more of the widgets, etc. Now, speaking of widgets, we're going to put five of them up if they're not up already. We'd like to know where are you? So click on the map and tell us where you are. Also, we'd like to know how you're feeling right now. So if you can sum that up in three words, if it's two, just put an X in the last one, or one even. Uh, you could, but you do need to put three things in to populate that, so let us know. Also, do tell us at which level you're studying and which subject area you're studying. And we'd like to think about how you feel about starting your next module. So do populate those and we'll see how everyone is feeling um, and we'll introduce those uh, throughout the programme. OK, so let's have a look then. Um, we've got a Wordle here with just some very brief uh, terms about how people are feeling. And there's lots and lots of different emotions. And I'm really pleased that so many of them are overwhelmingly positive. We can see that you're ready to begin. Um, I'm going to do the positive ones first. Ready to begin, excited, uh, happy, engaged, inspired, hopeful. Some people are scared. Some people are anxious. Um, and that is really, really normal because for some of you, this is a completely new journey. Um, and those feelings are, are absolutely natural. And we hope that uh, we can alleviate some of those fears throughout this session. OK, I think I have introduced everything, hopefully, uh, that we have to introduce, but no doubt there will be more as people are popping in. So I'm going to introduce Georgina Blakely. Georgina, welcome to the studio. Hi. Now, Georgina, you are the chair of DD102, Introducing the Social Sciences, um, and you're going to talk to us about navigating the virtual learning environment for students. Now, can you tell us briefly, I mean, we've got, as, as we can see here, a screenshot of student home. This is really, really important. How do students tend to feel when they first, you know, from your experience as, as you know, a chair of somebody who's starting a new module, how do people feel about all of this? There's so much information here. Absolutely. I think students have already summed that up really well. They feel really excited because there's everything there and you can't wait to get started. And as someone said, it's like getting the box in the post. You want to open it up and see what's inside. But at the same time, they feel very nervous and anxious as well because it's difficult to know what to look at, what to do first. Students often say, I'm waiting for someone to tell me what to do. Yeah. Uh, and it's taking that first step, really, yeah. that I think students find very daunting. Yeah. So what should they do then? What should they do? A very good question. Can they break anything on this, by the way? Absolutely not. It's before the module starts, and that's where students are now. Most modules haven't started yet. Mm. So you've got some time to make the most of that enthusiasm and that desire to get started. So I would advise students to just start clicking. You know, okay. once you're on student home, use that as your base and then go from there. You really can't break anything. You won't spoil it for any other student. So if you fill in something or press something, you haven't then altered it for every other student on your module. So just have a go. You really can't break anything. But there's a lot here. I mean, we're looking at That's some right. of these things and you can see there's profile information. Um, there's various tools, there's various services, links, stuff in the middle. Uh, Broadly speaking, for most people, what's the structure of this and, and how, how does it sort of work then? I think on most Open University module uh, websites or websites in general, it's the central column that's really important. Okay. And you'll see here for this student who's kindly let us use his website, his student home website. At the start, you've got the central column there, which tells you which qualification you're on. And this student is studying politics, philosophy and economics. Unfortunately, this student isn't actually doing any modules at the moment. But what you'd also see in this central column, column sorry, is the list of modules that this student is doing. Okay. And from there, you click onto your module website. Yeah. And I would say that if you're starting as a student, it's your module website that's most important because that will tell you what to do and when. OK, brilliant. So shall we have a look at one of the module okay, websites? Let's have a go. They do say never work with technology. But oh, I will know. Go. 
And wow. it worked. Ta -da. OK, you'll see this is actually an old module website. It's for the 14J presentation of DD102. But this will look exactly at the same for 16J. So again, you'll see this central column down the middle here. And the first thing I would say to students is click on the module introduction okay. and see what happens. Shall we have a go? Let's go for it. OK, we'll see. OK. And that takes you to a lovely shot of the module team. There you are. Yep. We can see us busy at work there, designing the module for you. Yep. And it'll, if you scroll down a little bit, and I'll, she'll try and do that, but this mouse is There's very... There's a little thing in the middle, I um, think, that you can scroll with, yeah. And it takes you to the first introductory video. Okay. So click on that and watch the in video, which will introduce you to the module. Brilliant. One thing I really like is you can see the little column um, which, which we saw at the top mm -hmm. um, earlier which showed you where that was in relation to other things. Uh, you know, sometimes I think it's, it's about getting a sense of scope, you know, how That's much right. there is and what you've got to do and, and how it all works. So, so basically everything is populated in some sort of sensible order and I guess if people don't want to watch the video they don't have to. And they don't have to, no. There's kind of two ways of navigating it really. You can use the contents list there yeah. and simply click on it as if you're kind of going yeah. through a book, really. Yeah. Or you can use at the top of every page and at the bottom of every page, yeah. there'll be a next button. Okay. So you Brilliant. can go next or at the top you can go back Brilliant. and simply do it that way. And you can also see where you are, I see, with the week Absolutely. one, module start and etc. Yes, so we're here at the very start in the module introduction before we even get to week yeah. one. Yeah. And that's what we recommend students to do. Most open universities... Open University module website will be very similar to that. Yeah. So although this is DD102, they'll all look pretty similar. Yeah. So most of the links then that people need are sort of embedded within each week. So That's does that right. does, is that the same then for things like assignments or um, things like forums? And is is this the place that has a, has it all? Absolutely. It's kind of rather like your virtual box. Yeah. Uh, a student talked about getting the box in the yeah, post. Yeah. Well, you still get that with your books, yeah. but you also get another box online as well, yeah. and everything is in there that you can I possibly need. I think that's the need. thing. You do want to start reading the books, don't you? Especially because they're tangible. Yeah. But actually, what you're saying is, is that this structures it, so there's a nice introduction, so it's going to tell you what you're then going to need to read. Absolutely. You just simply work through it step by step, and I'm desperately trying to get back here to the start but the mouse won't kind of let me. There's not really much room on here. I can't get it back for That's now. That's all right. Anyway, if you go back there, and it will tell you sort of week by week, the study yeah. planner, the central column in the middle, yeah. really tells you step by step what to do and when. Yeah. And it will also usefully give you an idea yeah. of how much time watching a video or doing yeah. an activity will take. So you can have a look and think, OK, I've got 10 minutes, so yeah. I will watch this video. I've got yeah. time to do that. And that's really useful when it comes to planning your time. Brilliant. Could you find that in a second while I talk about this um, thing? Because we've asked people, what are your biggest concerns? Right. So a lot of people have filled those in in the widget. And I just like to make a sense check so that we can try and address any of these things. So people have a lot of different concerns here. Um, we've got things like time management, um, note taking, keeping up. Time management is, is, is quite a big one. Falling behind self-learning academic skills, um, getting behind, doing two modules, being good enough, the amount of reading people have got to do, academic writing, not understanding things, getting confused, medication problems, have I enough time? An awful lot of anxieties and thank you for being so honest um, about those. And those you know, are very, very common anxieties, wouldn't you say Georgina? Absolutely, yeah, I really sympathise with that because that's how students often feel. And I guess yeah. the good thing is that you're not alone. A yeah. lot of students are saying very similar things. Yeah. Uh, and that's really helpful because students will also support you as you go through your studies. So yeah. you get support not just from your tutor, but from all the other students on the module too. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. And it's really nice. I think so many students don't recognise that actually, you know, they're not the only one yeah. having these concerns and anxieties. And, and I hope for you at home that's reassured you that, that you're not alone and you're in that same boat. And there are various, um, we'll talk a little bit about how people can access some of those forums absolutely. and sources for other students as well. OK, HJ and Sophie, how's everything going there? It's, it's done really lovely. Yes, yes, it's mental there's just so many so many people online it's it's obviously mm. everyone here good um have you had any selfies yet well i don't know how we're going to we? get them into so, the studio what's um, it selfie yeah <laughs> someone's sending us uh, their lunch so um please oh. please stop guys you know it's making me hungry no not really we want to see what you're <laughs> doing we're, we're eating on this desk too i've got i've got some sweets 
But uh, we got uh, a selfie, a selfie from uh, the green room as well, which is lovely. So some of our guests have sent in a selfie. But if you do send us a selfie, we've got some really cool stuff that we want to send back to you because we think that's only fair, don't we? Definitely. So yes. we've got like loads of cool things from the OU. So uh, if you've ever seen those really cool television programs, and it, it says like you can send out stuff, we got sent stuff to send out to. To you, uh, as well to you. I really like these ones with the animals. I'm a bit of a tiger fan anyway, so but this one here. Oh, that's a wicked poster. It opens out, it's massive. Um, but you wouldn't even know that you open you do things like this. They've got things like all the different tiger bits and bobs and so we've got loads of different things like this, so please do send your selfies through so that we can send these on to you. Brilliant. So a bit of bargaining. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so you send your selfies in electronically, studenthub at open.ac.uk or at studenthub on Twitter, hashtag studenthublive16. Get those selfies or your lunch or your study space or even a study buddy like a pet to us and uh, get, we'll get those up on the social media board and then we'll uh, let you choose from our fine selection of um, Open University and BBC production materials that we've managed to secure. OK, great. I'd also like to know what you're most excited about. And we're going to come on to that in a minute. Right. So back to all these anxieties, Georgina. Mm -hmm. A lot of these are really real um, and, and they are issues. And I think, you know, picking up on, on some of these things that people are saying, you know, time management is a key one, mm -hmm. getting it all done. How is the study planner going to be helpful as, as a tool for people and, and how should they use some of this? Can you talk us through the structure like week by week okay. and how people might think about using it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it kind of has a week by week basis and you can see either the five week planner yeah. or the entire planner. Uh -huh. um, and it basically takes you through step by step. So each time you click on a week, yeah. you get that contents list opening up on the side there. And right. that tells you what you're doing each week. Okay. What I would say to students, though, is don't panic. When you look at this, you think, oh, my goodness me, there's 30 weeks there of work and I'm going to have to do all this. And how yeah. am I going to fit it in? It is planned, so it's almost like a journey. Yeah. You're doing it gradually, you're taking it step by step. If you could do all of this at once, you wouldn't need to do the module. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? So don't worry, don't, whatever you do, look at week 25 and think, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> you're not supposed to look at week 25 now, you're supposed to look at the introduction. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, you can look at week 25 and have fun Everyone's and gonna see what's there. I can tell That's you. That's great. Who's looking I don't at week 25? Week 25. <laughs> I can't even remember what in, what's in week 25. It's probably an assignment or something like that. Um, but, you know, the, the whole point is we think very carefully about how we construct these modules mm. so that we do take you step by step. You yeah. do have a chance to yeah. develop your skills and acquire the no knowledge yeah. gradually as yeah. you go through. Yeah. Um, so don't panic when you see all this. You Brilliant. know, a module Can you lasts show us 30 one of the weeks. weeks as an example. I can. Let's have a look. I won't choose an assignment week. No, try not to. I'll That'll try scare not everyone. to. No, it won't scare everyone. Okay. But um, we're going to look at time management with Suzanne a little bit later. And one of the things that I'm very keen to look at is how you can break down some of these tasks and consider when okay. you do certain activities and, um, and, and how to actually use that. But it's just useful to be able to see what's actually in one of these um, examples from, and this is a social sciences module, so everyone is, is quite different. OK, so I've clicked on week 15. Yeah. I decided not to go for week 25. <laughs> Uh, and as you can see, as I said, there's a contents list there which tells you kind of the different sections for this week. Uh -huh. It's quite a full week. Um, most modules will probably have a common format each week, so you'll be doing similar kind of things. Yeah. So for on, on DD102, for example, the first thing it actually tells you to do is to work with a chapter. Right. Yeah, so we still have books as well as all these wonderful things online. Yeah. So it will tell you to work with a chapter. It might kind of give you an activity of yeah. questions that you need to think about when you're reading. Yeah. And then you can go online and fill in that. Um, I'm quite pleased that I've chosen this one actually because <laughs> the Portland Road uh, is actually based on the Secret Streets um, yes. uh, series we that yeah. we did with yeah. the, the, the BBC. Uh, and that's a nice little video that kind of works with some of the ideas that you've read about in the chapter. So often we find, for example, that a student think, oh, that's quite difficult, that chapter reading that. But then you go to a video or an audio and you think, oh, yeah, that becomes a bit clearer, yeah? So there's different ways of learning things and different ways of working with the materials because students study in different ways. They absolutely do. Could you tell us about this week you will study and just a little bit about learning outcomes and how, you know, a lot of the time we're trying to structure things so that students get an idea. Sometimes you can look at these things and think, oh, that's a lot of stuff. 
mm. and then just go on with it. But why is it important to get a sense of what you're actually going to be studying? OK, this week you will study is kind of like the overview. So it doesn't give you the detail. It gives you the main themes and the main activities that you're you're looking at this week. So you'll see that you've got an activity that's reviewing the chapter and that's the same every week. You've got a video, you've got an audio, and then we've got a working with numbers activity because one of the skills that students learn on, on this introductory module is how to work with numbers. Um, you'll also find at the end of each week that there's a conclusion and a summary and they're absolutely vital because they give you the main points that you really should have come away with that week. So if you get to the conclusion and the summary and they're a bit of a surprise as opposed to, oh yes, I did get that, then you perhaps need to go back and look at some things again. Uh, and again, that's the ideal about this really in that you can go back as many times as you want. Your tutor won't see what you write in the activities. Yeah, so if you're doing an activity and you write blah, 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 <laughs> because you haven't really understood it, don't worry. Your tutor won't see it's that good, and you can go back to it. It's good that people know that they don't know uh, what we're doing because uh, a lot of our viewers out there are sitting in their dressing gowns, so they tell us. So it's very <laughs> lucky that uh, we can't see them. And in fact, that's Absolutely. one of the benefits of these online tutorials because we all do those in our dressing gowns too. <laughs> Couldn't possibly come. <laughs> HJ and Sophie, how's everything going? It's going brilliant. A lot of people are really, some people are a bit nervous and anxious waiting for the module website to open. So they're uh, very glad that we're doing this session. Um, uh, Chantelle um, is waiting for a pack to arrive soon as well. But uh, so when it does arrive, send us a picture. So that would be great. Um, a lot of people want the tiger poster. Okay. So that's a very popular one. They will have to send Heather. us in their selfies. That, yes. That's the deal. <laughs> that, that's how it works, unfortunately. Fine. But, so get uh, those in. Christopher yep. was saying when he looks at his study planner, uh, sometimes he does like to look ahead, although it's a bit, maybe a bit daunting, because uh, he'll look at it and he goes, that's something I'll know about later. So I think that's really It's nice. also quite good, because when you do get to the end, you, you remember how you felt when you looked at it and you're all nervous and then you get there and you've, you can see your progress. You can see what you've done. I used to like, I used to like doing that bit of panic at the start, mm. but then when you get there, you just <laughs> yeah. feel so much better because you know you can do it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Actually, I'm I'm a massive fan of tick boxes. I love a tick box. <laughs> I do. You can tick these, can't you? And then you feel like you're getting somewhere. And then I guess you can go back if you if you haven't had Absolutely. time to do something like watch a video, and then you can yeah. uh, refer to it later. Yeah, there's a great deal of satisfaction to be had from ticking those boxes there and watching your progress as you go through the week. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Brilliant, excellent. Now, aside from this then, and when people's module websites mm. do open, and you're coming back next week, aren't you, to talk us through in a lot more detail. Yeah, um, we're we're going to focus on learning online next week. Um, so we're going to take a look at actually how you learn online effectively, as well as where some of these things are. So Georgini will be back and we'll go in a little bit more detail about OU Live and forums and actually show you some of the workings around those. Um, and some of you will have been allocated, hopefully, your module websites by then, so you can have a look and then ask us more questions. So don't worry, this isn't the last time we're doing this, and it's certainly not the exhaustive um, demonstration of it. But could you have a look, um, did you want to talk us through forums and things? Because this is quite an important thing when students do get to their websites about how to get news and, and what's going on. And we can see that there's some news yeah. down the side of it, often student home and, and the module websites that students should be alert mm -hmm. to. Absolutely. I won't go into great detail now because you should say we'll come back to this um, mm. next week. But I guess for new students, the key one, which you'll find on the right hand side of the module website, is the welcome forum. Mm. That should open on Saturday for a lot of the new modules. Okay. Uh, and that's a great place to go because you can ask questions of the module team. You can say hello to other students. You can find yourself a study buddy, someone perhaps studying the module near to you. And it's a great place to kind of get that sense of excitement and keep it going, but also to realise that there's lots of other students out there who are feeling just as nervous as you are. Um, so I would recommend that uh, new students in particular go to the Welcome Forum. But of course, students who are not new, uh, but are perhaps doing their second or third module, again, the Welcome Forum is a great place to start just to find your feet on, on any new module that you're doing. Um, when you get into your studies, you'll then migrate from the Welcome Forum, which closes usually about two weeks into the module. So you go on to the Cluster Group Forums. So the names aren't great, I must admit, in terms of what we call them, or your Tutor Group Forums. And that's really where your studying takes place in these Cluster Group Forums. Perfect. Sophie and HJ, what's up? Well, 
we're getting lots of great questions through, which we want, and uh, uh, about anything and everything. So just ask us. But I think Sophie's got a yes. fantastic question that you may be able to help us with now. Which, well, uh, I can't take credit for this, but Joanne <laughs> um, has asked, her pack is due to arrive when she's on holiday. Um, so can she access her books electronically before that or while she's away? Good or question. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. As we said earlier, the module website is like your box uh, that you do get in the post. And, you know, in the past, it used to be a much bigger box than it is now. But you can access your books online. You can access them in a whole variety of formats, whether that's as ebooks, PDFs, or a whole different variety of formats. So, yes. Is the answer to so that. you can take it on the train and you Absolutely. can do anything with your module yep. materials and have them to hand at all yep. times. Although being on holiday and, and looking yes. forward to that um, <laughs> is very, very admirable. Let's see what you're all excited about. We asked um, you to list three things um, that you were most excited about. And we've got the results of that now. So let's uh, have a look. We've got learning new things and learning. Well, that's brilliant because that is what you're definitely going to be doing. But it's, it's interesting to see some of the other things here. We've got things like um, new stationery, which I agree is incredibly important important. Making friends is a really lovely one as well. Um, in fact, I've made so many friends from the long time I started uh, OU study. Um, and, uh, and you do make some amazing friends. And hopefully on these uh, you know, sessions as well, you'll meet other people. Um, uh, doing assignments, uh, changing uh, my future, doing something new, new qualifications, getting my degree. So a lot of things about being part of the OU and, and actually the here and now, as well as an idea about the future, you know, and that end goal, which is obviously getting a degree and learning new things and, and how having something um, to, to look forward to. Now, those two things can seem quite difficult, the here and now and then the I'm getting my degree. Mm. And, and for a lot of students, that may be a six year plan um, and it can be quite difficult. What would your advice be in terms of using the forums and using other students to, to sort of help manage that? Yeah, I think you have to be careful because the forums can be very supportive. Mm. But they can also scare you as well and make you anxious um, in the sense that you might get a student on there who, for very good reason, has decided to get ahead with the module because perhaps they're going on holiday or they know something's coming up at work. So they'll say, oh, I've already done my first assignment and I'm now on week six. And to another student, that's like, oh, my goodness me, I'm not anywhere near that. So you have to be careful. Um, use them as a source of support, but don't feel that you have to do everything that everybody else is doing. Mm. Yeah, because it can make you very anxious and actually make the problem worse. Mm. Um, and they can also be a terrible distraction. Yeah. Yeah, you can also think, oh, I'll go on the forum and then I'm studying. Well, yes, <laughs> to a point. <laughs> but at some point you do also have to sit down and read the books and do the activities. Um, I would say one person we haven't really mentioned yet is a tutor, of course. Mm. Yeah. So if you're talking to students on the forum and someone says something and you're perhaps a bit unsure about it, speak to your tutor. Yeah, because they really are there as a source of support. So any kind of anxieties, they can help to allay. So what my students expect, because a lot of students won't have been allocated a tutor right now, yeah. and there's a massive process going on where the students and the tutors <laughs> are all being matched up at the moment. Um, so whilst the module websites will open, it might take a little bit of time for the students to actually get their tutor. What should they be expecting right now in the here and now? So they're, mod they're going to get access to the module websites yeah. very soon, maybe on Saturday, yeah. and then they're going to get their tutor a bit later. Tell us about that process and yeah. these first sort of in the next week. It can be a very uncertain time because you're wanting to start, but you're not quite there yet. Mm. The modules don't start usually till the beginning of October. Mm. That's why we have the welcome forum. That helps to fill that gap. So if you've got any questions before you get your tutor, before you know when all your tutorials and other learning events are taking place, you can ask questions of the module team and they'll help to answer them and to help to kind of keep your enthusiasm going and allay those concerns. The other thing to be careful of is don't think I have to sit down and read all my book now. Yeah, by all means, have a flick through it. As I said, use the time wisely at the start before the module actually starts to look at the module websites, look at Student Home, click on these links and see what happens. Yeah. But do so in a way that's kind of helpful to you and don't feel that, oh, well, I didn't look at that and now there's all this and there's all this on study skills and, oh, what do I do? Yeah, yeah just when you start to panic like that, yeah. take a deep breath, yeah. switch it off and think about something else and remember that step-by-step -step progress yeah it really it sounds very corny but it really is a journey and it's one step at a time I know. and the nice thing is it's nicely planned so week week one starts very nice and gently yeah. before you ramp it all up <laughs> to week That's 25 <laughs> um, 
Can you just tell us briefly about some of the resources? And we have Helen from the library who's yeah. going to be talking about um, managing digital presence. But this is the student home view again. Yeah. So we've gone out of the module Absolutely. websites. Some of the services we can see on the left hand side here um, are really important and they might they be a place are. that students might want to have a little nosy around now. Tell us yeah. about them. Um, again, use with caution because yeah. you don't have to use everything or don't have to do everything now. But there are some really important ones. The um, computing guide is probably very weighted to kind of work through but I would certainly plug the computing help desk. Yeah. It's absolutely essential and they are absolutely great. If you don't know anything about computers and you don't really know what to do first, just give them a ring because they're really great at solving problems. My mum is actually 80 this year and she did an OU degree in her 70s and I think she had them on speed dial. Oh, bless. But, and you know, she and kept they're open really up. sensible absolutely. hours, aren't they, to like eight or nine at night, isn't it? Yeah, and she'd ring up and say, my internet's gone, you know. And they say, well, <laughs> I'm sure it hasn't. And, you know, which sounds, but, you know, those kind of problems, they're really good at talking you through and helping yeah. you with that so if you've got kind of IT anxiety which many of us has yes. then the OU computing help desk is absolutely key okay great um, library services are great um, don't feel that you've got to use journal articles and books right at the start of your studies because everything you need to pass your module comes to you either in the box in the post or via your module website but the library is really good for kind of little bite-sized study skills, um, training courses. They also do some great online training courses to help you with online tutorials and yeah. things like that. So there are things there that are useful on the library, which I'm sure the librarians will talk about later yeah, on too. They absolutely will. Yeah. And finally, I guess the Help Centre is great. If you click on that, it takes you to a whole variety of topics, uh, frequently ask, asked questions and things that you can just click on if you're not sure about how to do something like... How do I put a picture on my profile or how do I change my password? Those kind of things that we all struggle with at the start. Brilliant, excellent. And there's also the Careers Advisory Service and Services yep. for Disabled Students. Now, some of these, we've got a Freshers um, event on right at the end of September and we'll be hearing a lot more from uh, the Disabled Students Group and the Careers Advice Service during them. But do let us know any questions that relate to any of that in the meantime. So those are the most important things then about the student home and the module website, Georgina. Yeah? Yeah, I think Brilliant. so. OK, thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining me today um, and for explaining all of this. I think it's really good just so that people can see exactly what's there. Click on the links when when arrives and then next week um, you can come back and we can go through some of the things like how to access online tutorials, how to yeah. go on a forum, how it's appropriate to post on forums etc and, and go through that in a lot more detail. That's been fantastic. Yeah, of course I will. All right well thank you very much for You're coming welcome. and we'll see you next week. Okay Sophie and HJ how's it all going there? It's been brilliant there. Yes very busy and um, we've had a lot of uh, pictures in of um, study buddies. Have you now? We've got a bearded dragon um, that's been dragon? put onto Twitter. Yes. Mm. We've um, got Oh, we've actually got our Twitter photos. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, lots of people send them in. We've got pictures of people's desks and a desk selfie. I like that. That's a double whammy there. <laughs> and uh, Dawn sent in a picture of her cat sitting on her stuff. And cats do that, don't they? They're always on oh, keyboards or yeah. where, where they're not supposed to be. They pick the wrong <laughs> times for attention. And... Uh, Charlotte's uh, bearded dragon as well. Yeah. I wonder if that sits on a keyboard while she's trying to do work. But we've also got study packages coming and selfies and uh oh someone in their pajamas watching. So that's that's nice. That's the best way. I think I spent half of my OU stuff in uh in my pajamas, but uh <laughs> Yeah, we will talk about that. But if you're, uh, it, the chat's going so fast. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, no. <laughs> it, the, the chat's going so fast. If you like us and struggle to keep up, there's a little pin on the top right you can press and then you can manually scroll through. But because it's so fast, if we miss anything, email us studenthub at open.ac.uk or our Twitter at studenthublive and we will get your questions answered. Brilliant. So that's good. Thank you for sending us all those in. We'll get those uh, printed off and put up on the board. And we're going to keep doing that over the next four weeks as well. So HJ and Sophie, how are you going to keep your end of the bargain and send these posters and, and various bits out to people then? Well, if people keep sending them in and we've got loads in and we should have loads of tidy posters. I think yes. people like those. No, we have got plenty. But if you give us your address in the emails or direct message your address on Twitter, don't put your address as well on any Twitter messages, <laughs> <laughs> then we'll get those to you. But we love seeing them. So just keep sending us stuff. And actually, Jessica had a great study tip. Uh, she says, um, 
She gets a wall pan, uh, planner and she writes uh, different hints and tips on it at different times of the year when it's applicable. So when it's exam time, she's going to write her exam tips on there. Maybe when she's starting off, she'll write some of the tips that we got on there. So I really like that. And I'm going to put Jessica's tip on our... I'm going to put it on our wall. So it's there. there we go. Aww. So I really like that tip. So keep them coming. Thank you, Jessica, for that. And thank you, everybody else, for your tips. I've heard there's a problem with our printer at the moment, so we can't get anything up on the desk. But thank you so much for sending all those in. We do love to, to do that. And we'll certainly have them um, up and ready for next week, if not before. Um, but uh, don't put your details on the Twitter feed. Do, do email them to us or um, instant message us uh, with them instead.